Okay, I think we are ready to go. So we've just completed the essential oils made easy for tonight and you can go back and watch that anytime. So with this class, we won't go into all the basics, uh, but all the recipes and ideas, everything that, uh, that you see on the screen tonight is available at tiatheoillady.com. Uh, let me just make that screen bigger so I can see. See across the top there how it's got uh, essential oils for wizarding, wizarding school. If you click on that, it'll take you to all the notes. If you click on the oil hut, it'll take you to all the oils. If you click on together, inspiring, amazing, it'll take you to our team group. And then you've got um, the class that I just did will be in that next spot. And then this class that we're doing right now will be in the live streamed class spot on the website so that website was tiatheoillady.com okay hi i've got somebody joined me already i can't see who it is yet i've um because that's the the joy of um doing things live you can't always see what it is where is it is where am Okay, well, it's not going to let me go get into any of them at the moment, so that's all right. It doesn't matter. Hello back, uh, whoever it is. Now, whoever has said hello, okay, so I've got this little thing here, okay, at the top of this class, this link, there will be a little line that says that I am live streaming it, and if you want to follow along, then if you just click on give Facebook permission, then you will, um, I'll be able to see who it is. So, which would be nice. I, I do like to see uh, who's there. Now, let me see. Okay, it's possibly Irma. So thank you for joining me, Irma. Okay, um, where are we? Comments. Okay, I've gone through the, the basics. Okay, let's get started on the class. Okay, so everything that you see, like I said, you actually, <laughs> it is Emma, everything that you see on the screen, you will have um, the notes for. This is literally what you see when you go to teatheoillady.com and find the Wizarding School um, class. Okay, it is only a short, oh, what did I do then? Okay, it's all right. I've gone back a screen. Okay, it is only a short class, so it shouldn't take us too, too long to do. Okay, welcome to this class. And I will read it because it's really well written. It's quite funny. This year continues to move forward and summer, well, there you go. I should have double-checked my notes because summer is about to start. It's time to get ready to return to school, which it is. That's why we're doing this one this week because the kids do go back to school next week. So let's start packing up our school things. Books and scrolls, check. Pens and parchment, check. Pet owl, check. Robes and broom, check. And a wand. Hey, where's the wand? It's okay, here it is. That's right, it's for the... It's time to return to another year of wizarding wizarding school. But there's another checklist. Oh, far out. There is another checklist your young wizard should be referencing as they pack their trunks. Okay, essential oils for train rides, essential oils for broom sports, essential oils for ma dark magic defence, essential oils for magic creatures and essential oils for wizarding school perils, among others. The train is about to leave the station, so get ready for a fun-filled journey through the wizarding school year, learning how to use the magical power of essential oils to support young students in their studies and extracurricular activities. And note, you will find all of these uh, tips, tricks and recipes are uh, every bit as helpful for any non-magical folk out there as well. Now, you don't have to take any notes. Uh, like I said, if you go to Tea of the Oil Lady, you will find all of these notes there So and their recognition of who wrote, wrote it and stuff. Okay, the train ride. 
The Wizarding School Express has left the station. A boisterous blend of happiness, nerves, excitement and worry coursed through every young magical scholar, especially the first year students who have been homeschooled in their formative years as our most magical kids have never been away from home for this long. Kids are laughing, trading small magical toys and gadgets, talking about summer adventures, wandering about new teachers and hoping for great things to, in the year to come. It's an upbeat, positive atmosphere, except except that many are already feeling the heavy ache of homesickness, the nervousness of a new environment, the fear of failure and rejection, the fretful worry of a friendless school year. What kind of magic spell can break the enchantment of emotional troubles? Only one such magic is known to the wizarding world, essential oils. For worried wizards seeking peace on the way to wizarding school, the peace reassuring blend of essential oils is the perfect potion. The blend combines floral and mint oils that will help calm them down and feel confident and courageous as the school uh, about the school year ahead. The peace blend combines vetiver, lavender, Ylang Ylang, frankincense, clary sage, marjoram, labdanum, and spearmint. And it has a sweet, rich, minty aroma that will provide feelings of peace, reassurance, contentment, and will counteract the negative emotions of anxious, anxiousness, fear, stress. And at school, can diffuse it in the bedroom at, well, not necessarily at school, uh, diffuse in the bedroom at night to promote a calming environment and restful sleep. And when experiencing anxious feelings, say when a giant has been spotted in the dungeons, apply one drop to the hand, rub together and inhale deeply. Diffuse or inhale before taking the wizard school train ride, taking a test, presenting to a large group or in times of worry or distress. So I've actually made my girls up um, a set of the emotional aromatherapy oils, but instead of in a big bottle like this, I've put it in smaller little coloured bottles for them. So the peace one is in the blue bottle and the forgive is in the green bottle. So uh, and that way they have their own set each. Okay, those the the piece is part of the emotional aromatherapy kit. Okay, too many chocolate frogs. As the train thunders on to wizarding school, we notice that in distinction to the worried and fearful magical scholars, there are those youngsters who, in an excess of good cheer, perhaps are enjoying this train ride a little too much. But that good cheer is starting to vanish. Several students are looking a bit green from eating too many chocolate frogs and other magical candies. For all its, de for all its development of charmed cures and solutions, the magical world has yet to discover any solution for tummy trouble better than digestion. The digestion blend contains ginger, fennel, coriander, which help ease occasional stomach discomfort, including motion sickness from the wizarding school train ride and indigestion from all those chocolate frogs. Also included in the blend are peppermint, tarragon, anise and caraway, which aid digestion and help maintain healthy gastrointestinal tract. The digestion blend is a great blend for all areas of digestive support. Use it internally, so one drop in water to aid digestion, soothe occasional stomach upset and help maintain overall digestive health. It smells sweet and spicy and it's it's got like a, a minty licorice aroma. 
Directions for the train ride or wizarding school use. Aromatically, use three or four drops in the diffuser of your choice. Internally, one drop to four fluid ounces, which is about 250 mils of water. Okay, apply one or two drops to the area of concern and dilute with fractionated coconut oil to minimise any skin sensitivity. So you can rub it around the belly. And if it's for motion sickness, um, around the belly button's good, but even on the back of the neck is another great place to do that. Magical injuries and scars. Whether it's the ponderous perils of evil bogarts in dark magic defence class, the danger of deadly plants in herbology or the routine roughhousing of the common room, injuries in wizarding school are bound to happen. And sometimes wizarding school nurses may not have every essential oil on hand that you would want for your young wizard. So be sure to pack those oils that are excellent for every first aid need that might arise. And here are a few tips for first aid, helpful in both wizarding school and at home. First, many essential oils work for multiple situations. And here are the top nine to have on hand for first aid. Lavender, peppermint, frankincense, tea tree, on guard, digestion, easy air and ice blue. Those eight are in family essential kit, home essential kit, nature solution kit. And the ninth oil there is my new favourite, helichrysum. Helichrysum is like liquid stitches, I've heard it called, and it is amazing. If, uh, if you go to my page on Facebook, you'll see there is a photo grid where I have a Band-Aid or Steri strips on my finger. So I actually cut from there right across to there less than two weeks ago. Okay, less than two weeks ago. This one here gaped and spoke if you moved. And I went to the doctors to see about getting it stitched because it was that deep and sore and I lost a lot of blood from it. Anyway, he cleaned it up and he put steri strips on it and band-aided it and I left. And about an hour later, that band-aid was chockers. So I got rid of that one. I put a drop of, um, I was at mum's, mum had um, lavender. So I put lavender on them, band-aid bandaged them up again till I got home and when I got home I think I put frankincense on the first night and the second day and I got the helichrysum out in the roller and I just started to roll it on it now that if you can see that is what's left and seriously less than two weeks ago this was really deep and sore all the feelings back now and um, the healing is almost gone. There is just a little tiny bit. This one is, is pretty much cleared up completely. And this, sorry, wasn't being rude. And this one has a little bit more of healing to do, but all the in, like it's just surface stuff now. So helichrysum is amazing. And um, I love that Kana said the other day, she said that she had given some to one of her kids to use on the grandkids and because she had said you know look after it when she gave it to them they were really worried about using it and they're like oh you know will it be safe will it be this will it be that and what they didn't realize is that yeah it might be $90 a bottle but it is amazing and it is safe to use on the kids and it can do amazing things so uh they're, they're now using it. So you can use it for all sorts of things, but it is amazing. You have two options 
Most of these oils are included in the basic pre-made kits. So just add the helichrysum and you'll have all the support you could need in a time of distress. The second option for your young wizard is to make your own kit and send it to school with them. Take the above oils and put them into smaller bottles, roller bottles, or even into um, salves. So add them to some, some creams. Okay, and always use like a natural cream, one like this, one that doesn't have um, fragrant in it, doesn't have mineral oils, that type of one. So in a in a uh, natural one that we have. Okay, make sure you store these in convenient containers so your student can throw them into the satchel uh, backpack. Uh, include other items such as gauze, band-aids, medical tape, maybe not scissors, maybe not a thermometer, but you get the gist of what we're talking about. Here's a can, oh, there you go. There's a convenient first day uh, printable PDF list of the things, these top eight oils for your first aid kit that you can put in your home. So the link is there. So you do have to go into that one. I may, I might be able to, where are we? copy link address give me two seconds and I can pop it back over here oh hello Kylie I've got Kylie here and Frank there you go there's the printable there hopefully that will take you to the printable uh yeah printable I said it right it sounded wrong okay one of the most important tips to remember is that essential oils are here and can support you almost immediately even before other help can get to you what if you have a magical scar? Some have even been known to have curious magical shapes like lightning, among others. And your young wizard may not like the attention and recognition of an easy identifiable scar. In such cases, essential oils that can help reduce the appearance of scars, helichrysum, frankincense, lavender, rosemary, sandalwood, narrowly, uh, or are we? lemon, tea tree, chamomile, uh, clary sage. And here is a break the scar spell recipe. Okay, so there are some ideas there. The other one for that is the salia belt. Okay, salia belt or even the correct decks is another one because it has a whole collection of those oils in it already. Okay, broom sports. For the athletically minded young wizard, the magical sports offer, offer an alluring way to use their youthful skills and strength in a challenging positive arena. And the broom sports, though, though among the more dangerous, have been proven to be the most popular as spectators thrill to the dazzling display of high-speed sporting and broom-riding wizards whizzing overhead in pursuit of winning of the winning score. That's why young wizards will want to know these helpful tips for using their essential oils for physical fitness as well as broom care. There are many ways that essential oils are beneficial to young athletes. For starters, essential oils are energizing, soothing, motivating, cleansing, and protective. All of these qualities are beneficial to supporting the body as we demand it to function properly and exert energy during athletics. And here are some specific tips to help the wizarding athlete. Drink plenty of water and add a drop or so of lemon wild orange or the smart and sassy met metabolic blend to your water as these not only taste great but they aid in hydration and when adding essential oils from water, uh, to your water make sure you drink from glass or metal containers some essential oils will break down the petrochemicals that are found in plastic and absorb it into your water Support clear breathing and your respiratory system with eucalyptus, peppermint, rosemary or the Easy Air blend. Use the Ice Blue uh, Soothing Blend or Ice Blue Rub for sore muscles and joints. Use frankincense, vetiver, patchouli, cedarwood, balance, cardamom, lemon, Roman chamomile 
or my favorite, the Intune blend to help with game day focus. From the US warehouse, we have a thing called the Athletes Kit, which includes many of the essential oils that support uh, a lifestyle of fitness and athletics, all in a compact, reusable, zippered carrying case. It's got the ice blue rub and it's got Easy Air, it's got uh, tea tree, lavender, on guard, and something else off the top of my head I can't remember. I, don't, oh, I can't remember if it's got another bottle, whether it's actually got a bottle of ice blue. Mm. Anyway, great little kit. Uh, I'll find a picture for it and put it up a little bit later. Get your head in the game in the hours before the big match with this Focus Blend. And then you've got a, there you go, Arborvitae is great for preserving wood. And here's a recipe perfect for polishing your magical athlete's wood room handle as well as any wooden furniture around the room. So some great recipes there. And once again, go to uh, teatheoillady.com and you will have access to all of these recipes and you can just print them off. Dark Magic Defence, one of the most popular and feared classes in wizarding school is Dark Magic Defence. Here, difficult and dangerous techniques are mastered uh, to help these young magical scholars battle the very real enemies of the wizarding world. And it is here they realise, perhaps for the first time, that there is real power bent on evil in the world. Thus, one of the greatest tests of a young wizard is to face the fantastic fears that arise as the dark arts are tried, tested and attacked. Fear is discouraging, disheartening and debilitating and that is why it is used by evil powers to crush the confidence and foil the faith of all who would oppose them. And that is why it's helpful to remember that hidden within the secrets of the world by its creator are gifts, treasures that put us in mind of the only true power for overcoming fear. These gifts can aid young wizards as they face the fears of dark sorcery. Behold the magic of essential oils. As we discussed earlier, the peace blend can help fight feelings of fear but other essential oils can also help deal with the dread anxiety and even terror that the darkness can hold frankincense roman chamomile lavender sandalwood cypress basil cedarwood apply these magical oils topically to the wrists the neck or behind the ears or aromatically in a diffuser before class or to the palms for a quick breather on the go. In the morning before dark arts defence class, use this diffuser blend. This is the fear fighter blend. Okay, Amulets and other magic charms are known in the wizarding world, but on the day when we face when they face a fearful foe in dark arts defence class, your young warrior will want this charmed pendant to focus his mind and ward off the evil spell of fear. For a child, you might oh, for a boy, you might prefer to make this yourself before the school year begins, but girls may enjoy making their own. The death of dread magic charm recipe, and you can put it onto uh, dry clay and have it there roll the clay out the whole recipe's there um transfer color family stamp the thing okay if you're not using air dry clay bake your items according to the packaging instructions and if you are using air dry clay set your items aside for a few days so that they will fully harden once your items are completely dry Add the ribbon or string and then you can place one or two drops of your favourite essential oil on the dry the dried clay and your magical charm is ready to go. You could also use your um, lava beads is another one. They're already done and put a drop of oil on your hand and just roll the bead in your hand. And if your bead's on a bracelet, that's all right. Just roll it in your hand and that will get the smell through there. The Wizarding School herbology 
one of the key wizarding school classes is herbology, the study of plants and herbs and their magical uses. But one thing that may or not may or may not be taught in the herbology curriculum is the magic of essential oils deprived from plants and herbs all over the world. These rare and wonderful gifts have a power have a power that has perhaps not yet been fully appreciated, a power that some might well consider magical. If you have ever enjoyed the scent of a rose, you have experienced the aromatic qualities of essential oils. These naturally occurring volatile aromatic compounds are found in seeds, bark, stems, roots, flowers and other parts of plants and they can be both beautifully and powerfully fragrant. Essential oils give plants their distinctive smells, protect plants and play a role in plant pollination. In addition to their intrinsic benefits to plants and being beautifully fragrant to people, essential oils have long been used for food preparation, beauty treatment and healthcare practices. Essential oils have been used for thousands of years. Today, they provide health conscious individuals with a safe and natural alternative they're used for a wide range of emotional and physical wellness applications. They have few, if any, undesirable side effects when used as directed. And one drop is all that is needed to achieve a powerful benefit. And your young magical scholar may find that essential oils can be a great help when he, they get head tension from those screaming plants. So many herbology professors seem to prefer. When that happens, get them to try this, okay? The screaming plant head tension relief technique, okay? The recipe is there. If you are using oils internally, please, please use an oil you trust, an oil you know has been tested and is as pure as we can get. Okay, one drop of frankincense on the soft palate. So that means put a drop on your hand, okay, wet your thumb, put it on there and put it on the soft palate. So you're not getting much at all, but it is one way of using it. Apply the past tense to the back of the neck, uh, to, the, to the neck and the base of the skull, okay, and dilute two drops of peppermint or lavender and apply them to the temples, and that will get rid of the head tension. Wizarding school classes, okay, magical creatures. For many, one of the most rewarding aspects of living in the magical world is the presence of various magical creatures. From hippogriffs to griffinlows, griff, yeah, gr yeah, that thing, from unicorns to griffins, such fabulous beasts can introduce wonder, weirdness, and not a little wild peril in the wizarding school year. Essential oils can help with the care of all beasts, whether magical or no, not and take a deep um, take a uh, and take a look deep into the eyes of your new puppy and try to convince yourself that even this little creature isn't magical. Here are some essential oil tips every magical creature owner should know. Dilute and with your animals, dilute, 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 dilute the oils for topical use. Know your creature's health status. Do not use oils on or near the eyes, ears, nose or genitals of your creature. Use a water diffuser for aromatic use and allow your creature to roam freely with an open door to the room. Caution should be used around creatures that are pregnant, nursing, young or on certain medications. Do not use oils topically on your creature if using a topical medication or dermal patch. This includes topical flea or tick preventatives. Do not give any essential oil products containing xylitol, so the toothpaste, the beadlets, etc., to your creature and always observe your creature's behaviour. 
we do we we did a couple about a month ago uh, a class on pets so there's an entire class aim um, discussing using your essential oils with pets and full of recipes so there's a few more recipes there whether you are flying on the back of a winged horse or marvelling at the mysteries of the phoenix, your magical creature will be happier and healthier with the power of essential oils. What about potions class? When it comes to potions, it seems young wizards either love it or hate it. But part of that may be because of the cruel and possibly crazy nature of the potions professor. Either way, it can be interesting to mix up various ingredients into a charmed concoction. Now, if it's after the recipe for a sleeping potion or an invisibility drought or a tooth serum, you'll have to pay attention in class and study that strange old textbook he found with mysterious notes from some masterful potion students of bygone days. But what you may not be aware of is that by mixing various essential oils, you can also create powerful new concoctions which will have powerful, almost magical effect on your young wizard's well-being. And here are some enchanting combinations along with a few diffuser blend recipes to try. Okay, what have we got? Arborvitae blends with other tree oils such as tea tree. Lime essential oil is citrus, tart, sweet scent and blends with woody oils like cedarwood. Love lime with... Um, frankincense cassia essential oil has a warm spicy cinnamon aroma and adds a spicy twist to cinnamon uh, to citrus blends also blending well with other woods fennel is a sweet honey licorice aroma that blends with cinnamon and citrus oils spikenard is a woody spicy musty scent that is both calming and uplifting and it blends well with every category of essential oil it magnifies every all the oils it is amazing um spikenard cypress has a clean woody herbaceous aroma and when blended with citrus oils like lime can have exceptionally uplifting effect on the mood and there's some great recipes the dark forest without the darkness inspired scholar and the magical energy diffuser blend okay wizarding school perils basilics and giant spiders the experience of wizarding school isn't all study and sports too often as various written accounts have shown the life of a student of magical education can be downright dangerous. Whether he's creeping silently through the school at night investigating a mystery, lost in the darkness of the forest after a strange adventure, or searching for hidden treasures in the dungeons, risk and peril are never far away for the wizarding school student. And quite often we're talking about a certain specific kind of peril monsters two of the most reported monsters are basilics and giant spiders for magical defense against these creatures of the night your young wizard should pay attention in class or ask the frizzy haired brainy girl he's always hanging out with but what is less common known is that monsters horrifying as they are to us are themselves frightened and horrified by you oh by you no not by you by certain essential oils and you guessed it i think they're scared of us as well let's add oils to it and they've got something to be scared of how can they deal with the snake like basilics or the monstrous eight-legged brutes that they may find on occasional encounter and here are some enchanting choices that will rapidly repel those fiendish freaks okay don't look at the basilic 
Okay, but besides that, the following essential oils are proven to have greater success rate and much lower cost than commercial serpent repellents. Okay, clove, cinnamon, sandalwood, eucalyptus, and tea tree. The main constituent in clove oil is a very powerful serpent repellent. Serpents rely on their sense of smell and spraying the creature directly in the face, on the head or in the immediate vicinity will have best results. I'm guessing don't get too close. The strong aroma of clove and cinnamon bark are usually enough to make serpents turn away immediately. However, if they continue, these oils will seep through their skin and cause extreme discomfort eventually making them flee. To achieve this, make a spray of a 50-50 mixture of clove and cinnamon. Spray around your residence room, common room and other school areas, including walkways, doors or any other area where basilics are feared to frequent. You can also soak a rag with this mixture and fumigate the, the basilic out of an enclosed area. The giant spiders, they don't like peppermint, eucalyptus or spearmint. And here is a recipe you'll find very helpful. Make larger, ba larger batches if the spiders are particularly gigantic. The despicable spider repellent recipe. Combine all the ingredients, shake well. The recipe is there. Like I said at the beginning, you'll find it at um, teatheoillady.com. Did you know that most spiders and insects taste with their feet? If you spray a circle of peppermint essential oil around a spider, it will not cross over or walk through the oil. There you go. I did not know that. Using a spray on entryways, doors, windows, cracks and other entry spaces is an easy way to keep them out. But what if you forgot to employ essential oils proactively and you are now faced with the aftermath of a physical spider attack? First, it is important to seek medical attention immediately, especially after encountering spiders that carry poisonous venom, venom in their bite, okay, which is often the case with giant spiders or Australian spiders. But you can also help your body's defence while getting to medical help. Lay a frankincense to support damaged cells regenerate. The Purify Cleansing Blend to purify the area as an antimicrobial agent. On guard to fight against germs and sanitise the area. And lavender as nature's antihistamine to calm the body's response. Apply every few minutes until the discomfort begins to reside. Continue this for the following week to support your body's return to wellness. So now your young wizard can feel more confident when dealing with basilics or other serpents or giant spiders. And note, such measures are also extremely effective against the non-magical versions of these creatures. So snakes and non-giant spiders. Dragons and three-headed dogs. More dangers, but a young wizard cannot be too careful as he makes his way through the mysterious ancient school, home to a hundred hair-raising tales of horror. Dragons, the very name evokes a terrifying fear of these slimy, scaly, serpentine devils, mesmerising eyes, an enthralling voice, sword-like claws, and worst of all, the scorching, blistering, blazing fire of the creature's breath blast. Even the most valiant and skilled of dragon slayers, their worm-killing done may find their hair singed at the least and maybe even with a painful burn or two on their skin. Just in time, the magic of essential oils is here to soothe and restore. 
Here are some essential oils for dragon burns that will have your young warrior feeling better in no time. Lavender, geranium, tea tree, peppermint, helichrysum and Roman chamomile. And just when you thought it was safe to stroll through the dungeons, there he is, Cerebrus, the hound of hell, that terrible, gigantic, three-headed dog some idiot professor bought in. Biting this powerful creature will be hard, to say the least, but if you could only put him to sleep for a while, you could get past him and safely back to your room. Here are some essential oils and tips to help you get this monst monstrous mutt headed to dreamland. So the sleepy puppy freak spray. You also want to sing the magic words while spraying the concoction at the triple headed terrier to the tune of London Bridges Falling Down. And I won't be singing it to you, but there are the words. Okay, monster doggies go to sleep, go to sleep go to sleep let this potion sink you deep in canine slumber but what if in the process i don't know what that's supposed to say the ah oh, okay the cerebus gets a chomp or two get, gets in a chomp or two first things first what we will not discuss here does not include several injuries that involve underlying or supporting tissue, bone, ligaments, etc. And if there is a risk of rabies, seek medical attention immediately. If the skin is intact and there are no scrapes or open irritations, apply tea tree, on guard, or purifying and apply the ice blue to support relief from discomfort. If the area that was affected shows scrapes or open irritation, clean it and apply frankincense, tea tree, on guard or purify. The easiest way to apply these oils is to dilute in fractionated coconut oil and then work into the affected area two or three times per day for up to three days after the incident. If the area is deeply affected, torn or open, apply helichrysum and pressure to help promote sensation of bleeding. Clean the area thoroughly and then apply the above protocol. Also consider consider taking two drops of oregano and on guard in a capsule uh, two times a day for the following week. Again, if you're taking them, read up and feel confident in what you're doing and only use the best oils. Apply helichrysum or the Salubel anti-aging blend for healthy looking skin support after the affected area has closed, like my fingers did. Okay, magical school feasts. Well, we just watched a whole pile of movies from the magical schools and the feasts were enormous. One of the best parts of wizarding school are the fantastic feasts in the Great Hall. Just the sight of the mighty tables creaking under the weight of beef and bread, goose and game, wine and what sale, cakes and candles all lit up with a multitude of magic candles is a feast for the eyes before a single bite is taken. But how many great feasts are there throughout the year? Beginning and end of year feasts, of course, Christmas, but not many others. And hungry young wizards famished from a day of broom sports or battling dark magic may long for a taste of feast-worthy foods between the high holidays. What can he do? With essential oils, even the simplest of snacks are magically transformed into rich, festive foods, quick and easy. Essential oils are 50 to 70 times more potent than herbs, which means they will make your wizard's favourite snacks sing with flavour. One drop, one drop. It's all you need. Here are a few tips to tide the tummy until the next Wizarding School Feast. Add one to three 
drops of lime to coconut oil when making fresh flavoured popcorn. Add two drops of lime to a jar of salsa. That one is good. I like that one. Add two drops to your favourite smoothie recipe. Add a few drops of wild orange to your granola bar. Add one or two drops of peppermint to chocolate frogs or other favourite chocolate treats. Add a drop of spearmint to warm water or hot chocolate. Add one drop each of oregano, rosemary, thyme, marjoram and basil to two or three tablespoons of sea salt for an awesome salt blend to use with various snacks. And here is an enchanting fruit dip recipe your young scholar can make with no cooking. Cream cheese, plain yogurt, raw honey and orange or tangerine oil. Mix it and serve it with fruit. Yum. With essential oils, visiting school students can have a little of the magic of great feasts throughout the year. Have a great year. As you can see, the power and beauty of essential oils is often downright magical. And whether your young scholar is heading off to visiting school or just the regular non-magical academy down the road, you can make this an enchanting year for him or her with essential oils. I want you to feel empowered to have these tools ready to go when the moment arises, whatever the situation from time test, uh, from test time to the emotional roller coaster of beginning <laughs> a new school year. If you're interested in learning more, we have heaps of classes available on a variety of essential oil subjects. And seriously, just tell me what you want to learn about because this is what I like to do on Wednesdays. I want you to be able to get oils and natural products at the lowest prices and highest quality. So let me know if you're interested in saving money by getting them wholesale instead of retail. And there's the link to our website. And if you'd like to talk further about essential oils, then let's schedule. Yeah, you can give me a drop me a message and we will um, be able to go through that for you. Okay, well, oh, we've got a few faces on there. Um, thank you, ladies, for joining me. I can see we've had Kylie and Sue and we've had Lana and Kath and Sean. We've had quite a Jennifer, even Frankie's there. G'day, mate. Um, so we've had a few join us tonight. So um, like I said at the beginning, it was a, a bit of a fun class. I knew it had some interesting uh, recipes in it. So there are some great recipes there. And if you want to print off any of those or go in and write them, uh, you don't have to listen to the whole thing again. Just go to uh, teatheoillady.com and you'll find the link there. And uh, thank you for joining me. So next week we're going to do... Essential oils made easy at 8 o'clock and at 9 o'clock we're going to start. We'll see whether we do the whole thing. I think it's actually a long one, so we might actually do it over two weeks. But we'll uh, make a start on oils for fighting fatigue because I'm figuring once school goes back we'll all be just, you know, we'll either be relieved or exhausted, one or the other. So we'll, um, we're going to do the oils for fatigue. So thank you very much for joining me. And don't forget to jump onto our Facebook group, Together Inspiring Amazing, and follow us along at The Oil Hut and Tia the Oil Lady. Thank you very much. Bye.